Wow, what a great turnout on a busy Friday afternoon. I'm Joe Paul, and I'm honored to serve as your interim president, and really honored to be here to, uh, to thank and bid good tidings, and, but not farewell, uh, to our 10th president, who's become a good friend of mine since, since the day he flew in to help us with the tornado. Um, and so I want to talk a little bit uh, before we, we bring the Bennetts up. Uh, Dr. Rodney Bennett became our 10th president on April the 1st in 2013 and concluded his service to this university on July 15th of this year. His nine plus years of service make him the fourth longest serving president in the university's history and the longest serving in the post-Lucas era. I just made that up, post -Lucas era. That sounded really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, President Bennett actually began serving us before his official start day, when on the morning of February the 11th, just hours after the devastating EF4 tornado swept through the campus, causing severe damage, he appeared to lead the charge in recovery. His leadership was masterful, and his appearance before his contract began really lifted the spirits of our students, our faculty, staff, and the community just beyond measure. So that was a beautiful gesture uh, on, on the President's part. Under President Bennett's leadership, Southern Miss became one of only 14 in the nation, 14, research one universities that also compete in, in, in NCAA athletics at the Division I level and maintain fully accredited programs in all four major areas of the arts, theater, art and design, dance and music. That's rare air, right? And that happened during, during this presidency. During his tenure, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, during his tenure, USM not only received Research One status, which was achieved in 2018 and then renewed in 2021, but the university also reached significant fundraising milestones and dramatically increased the research and innovation enterprise uh, presence along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, which pos is positioning the university as the gateway to the Gulf for ocean enterprise and the blue economy. And, and just what I've seen down there in four weeks, it's just jaw-dropping. It's, it's, it's incredible. Um, so President Bennett's accomplishments over his tenure are many, but I'm just gonna hit a few other highlights for you. Uh, they include securing regional accreditation through SAC's Commission on Colleges in 2016 and maintaining all uh, programmatic accreditations across our academic offerings. You know, one of the best news I heard the first day was that I don't have to mess with SACs <laughs> during this semester. Then I'm here, thank you. Uh, maintaining stable enrollment through the pandemic and enrolling the most academically talented students in the university's history. Uh, investing in the recruitment, retention, and development of our faculty and our staff, which resulted in Southern Miss being recognized by Forbes magazine as the number one place in Mississippi to work in the education category and in the top 10, six to be precise, uh, among all, univer all excuse me, Mississippi employees. That's another good applause point there. And this is a great place to work. It's great, but it doesn't mean all of you need to follow him wherever he's going next. Okay. At least not for this semester. Stabilizing USM's overall financial position while still making critical investments in faculty, staff, and student support. And I can tell you, because I know what our position was when he came, that this was just yeoman-like work and effort in very creative uh, tough decision-oriented leadership, so that's an awesome accomplishment. Enhancing the student experience with strategic investments in student academic success support services. Uh, Dr. Bennett also uh, took the lead in expanding programs and services for military veterans, service members, and families, service family members, in positioning Southern Miss to become a top 10 military-friendly institution and to be ranked first in the Southeast and third in the nation by Miller, Military Times Magazine. Um, also, securing a $100 million regional class research vessel, $100 million vessel 
from the National Science Foundation to conduct large-scale ocean research in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, that's such a big deal that I think it'll be completed and do field trials in 23 and, and, and... I think it's been pushed to 24 now. Uh, well, we'll take delivery in 25. Well, you, what he said. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, that's right. Uh, and, and finally, uh, not last, not least, but a big, big deal. Uh, leading the way and moving our Golden Eagle Athletics program into the Sun Belt Conference, not only that, but on an accelerated timeline, that's gonna be a game changer for us. Let's have another to the top for that. Yeah. Um, so, we all know that few things come easily for Southern Miss, and none of these stellar achievements came easily they took Dr. Bennett's passionate pursuit and persistence toward audacious goals, often against long odds, to lead us to this good place. President Bennett, your legacy of leadership is affirmed through these bedrock achievements and more, and that legacy will only grow as the university, its students, faculty, staff, and alumni reap the benefit of your leadership accomplishments well out into a very bright Southern Miss future. Well done, my friend. Well done. President, Mrs. Rodney Bennett, please come here. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I have to tell you that it has been more than 30 days since I've had a microphone and an audience. <laughs> Uh, and material, and I miss not being at the podium. But I am gonna try to stay uh, just within about a TikTok video time limit, <laughs> which would be about three minutes. <laughs> uh, when you're at, sitting at the president's house, you don't have much going on. TikTok really is very interesting <laughs> concept, but I'm afraid to make any TikTok videos and certainly not post any because I don't want a future employer to discover those and then we have Christina Varno, another HR issue that we have to think about. Uh, I really want to thank First Temple for being with me for 32 years, uh, 29 years of marriage. Uh, you know, you really can't do much of anything without a supportive partner or spouse or family member or children or whatever your situation might be. And so we really entered into this as a partnership. And uh, I tried to do my part of the partnership every day, both here at the university and at home. And she certainly did her part of the partnership with our girls, with the university, with our home and the community. And I'm very fortunate and proud of her and for her to be able to stand next to me today as we sort of bring our tenure at the University of Southern Mississippi uh, to closure. I also want to thank each of you for being here today. You never take for granted that people are going to show up for your party. <laughs> so thank you all for being uh, here today. And I could just sort of work my way around the room and tell stories about each of you. But in TikTok concept, the time will not allow me to do that. But please know that everybody here means so much to me and we all have a special relationship. And I really value and treasure those relationships uh, deeply. What I thought I might do, however, is just sort of take you back to about 10 years or so ago when I was announced as the 10th president over in the Cochran Center. And I stepped to the podium that uh, afternoon after the trustees named me president in front of the media. And I remember saying something similar to this. And I want to say it again 10 years later because I think it's such a profound sort of inspiration for each person who is here uh, this afternoon. I said that day that I was overwhelmed with emotion because I had been selected to serve as the 10th president of the University of Southern Mississippi, a very unlikely person to serve as president. My background, my history, my family legacy was not such that you would say that young man from the hills of East Tennessee is going to be president of what is now an R1 institution. And so I remember saying that day to all of the young kids 
and all the people who are doubting whether or not they're good enough, whether or not they're smart enough, whether or not they are from the right family, whether or not they have enough money, that if you set your mind to do something, you can accomplish unimaginable goals for your life and for your family. And as I say farewell to the university in this official capacity, I want each of you to think about that. I want you to think about those unimaginable thoughts that you have today, those things that you'd like to accomplish that maybe you're not sure if you're able to do that, the things that you've been putting on the back burner, the things that maybe you just haven't really developed, the things that you haven't shared with your family and friends. And I want you to be encouraged by our story of 10 years ago, the most unlikely people <laughs> to be asked to serve as the 10th president of the University of Southern Mississippi. The most unlikely people to have had this opportunity. And then what we were able to do alongside each of you to move a university from where we were 10 years ago to now an R1 institution with all the other accolades that President uh, Paul shared with you. It just says if you have a goal or a dream, if there's something that, that speaks to you that you want to accomplish, to have the courage to step out on faith, to have the determination to do something hard, to have the consistency to every day keep getting up and going to work or going to that thing that you believe in so deeply. And I hope that when you think about this journey from 10 years ago to today, and what everybody in this room has accomplished together, this is transferable to your own lives. This is transferable to what you say to your children. This is transferable to what you say to our community, what you say to your church, what you say to the things that are important to you. Don't allow those unimaginable goals, those unimaginable dreams that you have to not reach their full potential. Go for it. Very important, go for it. I just thank y'all for being here today. I thank you for the opportunity to have served as president of USM. I have loved every minute of it. The hard days, the frustrating days, the drives to Jackson, to the coast, to Washington, to wherever we had to go. And it has been a distinct honor and privilege of my life so far and of my career to have spent the last decade here with each of you. Temple and I ask that you continue to pray for us. Uh, we have a turning the page sort of moment. Uh, we don't yet know what the future will look like, but we are stepping out on faith that God has us in the palm of his hand. Said I wasn't gonna do it and I, looked, I don't even look at you. <laughs> God has us in the palm of his hand and he is the architect. He is the, the author. He is the provider, and I know that wherever we end up, it will be because his hand is upon us, and that gives us great joy and great hope and great encouragement for the future. So thank you all for being here today. Uh, there's lots of food and beverage that we need to consume. Uh, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm on a journey of slimming down a little bit, so I'm not taking anything home with me, so please eat and enjoy and fellowship for as long as you would like uh, to be here. Dr. Paul, before I turn it back over to you, I just want to ask Mrs. Temple if she has anything she'd like to say. I would just like to thank you, thank each of you for coming out um, as well. And I was not going to cry either, but Latasha's out there um, <laughs> making me cry. But I just want to thank you all for the journey. Thank you for the opportunity. Southern Miss and Hattiesburg will always hold a special place in our hearts for our family. And the Southern Miss, thank you all. Okay. All right, now on to the, um, to the conclusion here. Uh, well, that's a tough act to follow. I mean, you know, Dr. Paul pushes me up here and says, follow that. And I was like, okay. Uh, I, I, th I thought he asked me to conclude with a roast, but I don't think that's what he asked me to do here. 
But um, I'm Chad Driscoll, Vice President for External Affairs, and, and many of you know I've been here 15 plus years now, and uh, my journey started with the Bennetts a, a day or two earlier than most of you that have been here this time when the then Commissioner of Higher Education asked me to go over to uh, Athens, Georgia, uh, and, and bring Rodney Bennett over for what would sort of be his introductory uh, tour to Mississippi before the tornado. And so uh, we started there and have had a lot of times together. And what I'll tell you about Rodney and Temple Bennett is that they're, they're just as genuine and just as hardworking and just as passionate as, as you think they are, if not more. And I have enjoyed my nearly 10 years of association with the Bennett family. And with that said, we've got a couple of little happies for you. And uh, first of all, Temple, to present you with that on behalf of the university. And then we know that Rodney Bennett's not headed to retirement, so he won't sit long. But we also have a presentation here. So the inscription says, uh, Rodney D. Bennett, EDD, 10th President, 2013-2022. Thank you all. Let me, let me tell you why I have to say that to Kelly Dunn. For 10 years, Kelly Dunn has bossed me around with photographs. She tells me to button my jacket, and I say, Kelly, I've been eating. I can't button this jacket. She tells me to pull my shirt sleeve down. She tells me to fix my tie. She tells me to slide to the end of the chair. I mean, she just, she's just bossy. <laughs> but we love you, Kelly. <laughs> what do you want us to do? <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> all right, right here we go. One, two, three. Got it. Thank you. Thank you all. Yes, thank you. 